can you kind of walk us through what equipment we're going to need to start our uh, window cleaning business? Yeah, and that's one of the most beautiful things about this uh, this business, and, and it's something that Aaron will talk about on the web class because it's kind of where he got his start, right? And and like you mentioned, you know, he started from zero, having absolutely nothing, to scaling to a significant business, right? And and it's all about scalability, but it's also about affordability. And if you're just starting out, right, if you if you don't have an existing footprint, um, then window cleaning is something that you can get into for ridiculously cheap, um, and you know, essentially all you need is a squeegee, a mop, a bucket, some soap, and the wherewithal to get out there and find customers, right? Um, and I've got a couple little examples. I ran up to uh, to one of the trucks and grabbed these. Like I had said, you need squeegees. Now, there are all different levels of uh, quality, and this goes with everything, right? You can get into a lot of businesses for really cheap. Um, you could go to Lowe's, you could go to Home Depot, and you could buy a pressure washing, like a residential little mop and squeegee for probably under 20 bucks, 20, 30 bucks, something like that. And you could get out there and you could do an adequate job cleaning windows. Now, um, the, the stuff that I'm going to show you, you know, these are these are a little bit nicer. These are professional um grade squeegees, you know, you can put them on poles, extendable poles and things of that nature. But, you know, if you're just starting out, you know, you're, you're going to learn how to use a squeegee. You're going to learn how to be efficient with a squeegee, minimizing your strokes. Um, but that's a very inexpensive, uh, you know, part of the equation. And then this is a pretty big mop. This is for, you know, big windows. But what you do is this is you, this is saturated with both water and, and a soap solution. You know, a lot of guys uh, will just use a Dawn dish detergent, which is readily available everywhere. Um, but you get this thing wet with a little bit of water, a little bit of soap, and you're going to find the best ratio there uh, that works for you. You're going to soap up your window and then you're going to squeegee it off. Right. Um <clears throat> Those are the main tools. You're going to need a bunch of towels, right? The lint-free towels, you, you, you see those all, the, all over the place. Um, and, and that's essentially all you need. You're going to need a bucket or maybe a little spray bottle that you can put your solution. It's really, again, just dependent on what you want to do and, and how you're uh, you know, going to go about cleaning these windows. But really, those three or four things are all you need. And you're talking, honestly, at the very low entry point level, like beginner stuff, you know, 50, 60 bucks all in is, is probably where you're, you're looking at. Okay, beautiful. And what kind of jobs can they do with these? Are these like lower level home windows or these you can do some commercial windows with this? Yeah, storefronts. I mean, uh, smaller homes where you're not requiring, you know, ladders and, um, and and extension poles and things like that. What I just showed you is ideal. Now you can buy extension poles for not a lot of money and you can get proficient in using these tools to do, you know, second story, even third story windows. Um, but like I said, as you get more into the business, as your business grows, as you learn more, you're going to want a little bit better stuff. You know, even like the rubber on the squeegees is, is, is different, right? The stuff that you buy at Home Depot or Lowe's is, I don't want to say substandard. It's good for a homeowner, but it's not good for somebody that's out there trying to make a living being a professional doing window cleaning. 